Hey Walking Dead fans, this is a video on the new trailer for Fear the Walking Dead Season 4. It premiered at WonderCon and it's an extended trailer, got a lot of good stuff in it, so let's get to it. The music that's playing in the background of this trailer is by a band called Dr. Dog. And the title to the trailer is My Old Ways and the title of the song is My Old Ways. And some of the lyrics, some things never change or go away. I wait around and now it's yesterday. And the chorus is, but I don't want to ever go back to my old ways, cheating and creeping around. I don't ever want to go back to the old days, leaving the dead underground. It's a catchy little song. I think it went well with the trailer, actually. Okay, remember the link will be in the description below. And I know that AMC blocks a lot of their videos on YouTube in other countries. And there's really not much I can do about that. If I try to play the entire promo in one of my videos i'll get flagged for copyright and stuff so i apologize um nothing i can do about um amc blocking viewing in other countries it totally just does not make real good sense to me either so the awesome uh armored vehicle that a new character althea is driving we see her going down the road, and if you can notice, we also see her coming, approaching Morgan, walking down the road, and she'll eventually pick him up, I think. And this is Althea, not sure if uh, she's pointing a gun at Morgan right here, but it could be after she gets out of the truck and is like, you know, who are you, dude? But we see Morgan walking down the road. He does have an injured leg. He's limping. And guess what? Oh, my God. You see him pass a sign. That says welcome to Texas. So we know for sure Morgan left the East and went to Texas. But the most convincing thing that it's after All Out War and that he did go to Texas beyond the sign is what he says. That he comes from the East. There was a big war there. He had some friends. He lost friends. He went crazy. He came back saying he went crazy again. He came back saying and, you know, he just had to get the heck out of Dodge. Back East. It was a fight. Big fight. I didn't know how to make it stop. And if you'll notice this little piece, it looks almost like it's a video recording, like maybe Althea uh, recorded him. Good people died. I lose people, and then I lose myself. I've chopped up the trailer a little bit to bring the pieces together, so we see Morgan again in the trailer, and a person with a hammer bloody hammer and this person turns out to be nick and i'll show you about the hammer just a little bit later in this video but then we see morgan and nick not really in a confrontation it looks like morgan has nick there has taken his knife nick tries to grab it morgan knocks him on his ass but i think they will become friends and from the looks of it althea's armored vehicle the side raises up and there's two awesome machine guns that pops out and those things are pointing at these guys. It looks like Morgan and John, another new character. He's what I call the cowboy guy. It looks like they're captured. It does show Morgan again. It looks like John is with him here in a confrontation with guys. Don't know if it's the same guys because it looks like in the promo Morgan kicks some major butt here. But we also get a glimpse of the other new characters. This guy here is going through a grocery store picking out some items with a bunch of zombies banging up against the glass and if you'll notice he's got some man rings on um to me that just shows this is probably a bad guy you know like in the old westerns a black hat definitely meant the bad guy and i think in zombie apocalypses maybe man rings means could be a bad guy maybe possibly but we get to see some of the main characters it looks like john waking up Luciana is back in town and she's waking up. Nick is on the other side of the bed. Looks like he's still asleep. And Alicia opens the curtains to see. I called it a football stadium in one video. That was a slip up, but it is a baseball stadium that Madison, Strand, Alicia, Nick, and all these people, they've gathered in and they've created a little community in here. Yesterday. And it looks like Naomi, another new character, is been there it looks like john is waking up at the same place so it looks like these characters will be together and they're eating breakfast and things are going okay at the moment looks like they're doing kind of farming growing crops Who's never been alone? and then we see nick again and he's got the hammer so so what plays out is it seems like nick has been inside this baseball stadium for a long time 
The girl asks, why don't you ever go out? And he says, I like it better in here. Why don't you ever go out there? Because I like it better in here. So back to the hammer thing. We see him kiss Luciana goodbye. We see Alicia in the back seat. It looks like they're going out to scavenge and Nick's staying inside. But when he gets the hammer, he's getting the confidence to try to go back outside. And we see him trying to kill some zombies. He, he's kind of failing miserably because he hasn't been outside in so long. At the end of Fear the Walking Dead, season three, when Nick blew up the dam, that was day 64 since the global outbreak. We've jumped all the way up to around day 624. But that takes us back to the frame with Morgan and Nick with a hammer. Nick just meeting Morgan, probably they have a slight confrontation. But like I say, I'm sure they become friends. And then we have this guy again. Notice his light shirt with the um, blue and red or black and red things on the shoulder. And when someone's aiming a gun like this and making a snarl expression like that, it kind of points to maybe that's the bad guy. We see Strand here pointing the gun and he's not snarling. And you see John in the background. And right here we see Alicia pointing a gun and she's not snarling. You can kind of sort of still see John in the background. So that's the same scene. And it seems like what they're pointing their gun at is Naomi. So this could be the point in time where they meet this could also be looks like from the same scene of when they meet naomi and naomi will become good friends with alicia as seen in another part of the trailer it shows naomi and alicia working together they get to an amusement park probably scavenging but they get to kill a bunch of zombies and somewhere in the trailer there's this shot uh, it looks like bad news to me, but it looks like a bunch of trucks backed up letting a bunch of walkers out. So that's probably not good news for somebody. And then there's a quick shot of looking like John shooting uh, the guy that I've been calling the bad guy. You can tell by the, uh, the shirt he's got on. But we don't see Crazy Dog or Walker. Uh, we don't see Daniel. Not in this trailer. But we've also found out that Althea has some type of ultimate goal and Strand is going to take interest in that. So you know how Strand does. He manipulates people and sometimes not for the good. You know, it's for his own good. Overall, it's an exciting trailer. It's exciting to have Morgan in the show, um, to have new characters, uh, new involvement. It's a new area. They're back in the U.S., and it did do a massive time jump, so I'm sure we'll have flashbacks on kind of how everybody got away from the dam and kind of got up to that point. Because Fear the Walking Dead is going to jump right past Season 8 of The Walking Dead, and Morgan is just going to walk right over. I think there'll be a big time jump in The Walking Dead also, but we'll just have to see. You guys definitely put your comments and thoughts below on the new Fear the Walking Dead stuff. Keep checking on the channel for more new videos. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.